This is an extra video to show you how these devices here can demonstrate the Kelvin-Helmholtz effect. Dr. Barbara Turnbull's running the experiment, and she's much better at explaining everything, but wasn't wearing a microphone during the experiment here, so I'm afraid you're stuck with me mainly. There are two devices, simply because we ran the experiment twice. Always good to have a backup. I can just fit that over the bottom. The first step is pumping the tanks half full, or half empty, depending on your viewpoint, with fresh water. We left the fresh water clear here in tank one, but in tank two, the fresh water's dyed red, just for ease of viewing. Lovely. Nice. Then we create salt water. Pretty simple that. And in both cases, the salt water's dyed blue. Again, just so we can see it better. With the tank still tipped upright, the salt water's very gradually pumped in from below. It mustn't mix with the less dense fresh water sitting above it. So you can see the fresh water stays on top. When it's full to the brim, it's a fiddly process to then seal the tanks, making sure there are no air bubbles inside. Next, and this is done very carefully in incremental steps, the tanks are tipped to the horizontal. It's crucial the layers don't mix, and in both cases, we now have the denser salt water below the fresh water. When the layers have settled, everything's calm, the apparatus is tipped. Now the salt water's flying that way, and the fresh water that way. And there's our effect in tank one. Here are some more camera angles. and of course, slow motion. And then as promised, we did it again in Tank 2. And of course, there it is again. I think this is amazing. Look how impressed these guys are. Just in case you're wondering, we measured the salt water, just to check its density. So there you go. And if you're wondering why these tanks are even here, well the University of Nottingham students do this experiment as part of their studies, as you can see.
Thanks again to Dr. Turnbull, and to see our main video on the Kelvin Helmholtz effect, you can click the links on screen or in the video description. Over the top of this bump here is actually traveling faster than the, tr the material below. And if you want to watch more videos, well, you know we've always got them. Thanks for watching 60 Symbols. We always appreciate having you here. Kind of a subtlety here that you probably don't actually want to sit absolutely at the Lagrange point. For example, one real disadvantage of being right at the L2 point is if you think about it, if you had a satellite here,